come. You hurt bad, buddy? No, it's nothing. It's just a piece of rock, I guess. Did we get him? Not that time. One more dive ought to do it. Now, we don't stand a chance here. Let's get deeper in those rocks before they dive again. about Buck. Oh, he's all right. But that captured Kane ship was much faster than ours. He should have caught up with us a long time ago. Say, maybe that burst of yours crippled them so they couldn't take off. You may be right. I'll report to the squadron commander. Lieutenant Deering calling the squadron commander. Squadron commander. Go ahead, Lieutenant Deering. Colonel Rogers should have caught up with us long before this, sir. I'm afraid a ship may be crippled. I suggest we turn back. Perhaps you're right, Lieutenant. We'll do so. Thank you. Wait, tell him. What's the matter, kid? One of them's down. One more dive ought to finish them. I'm all right, Buck. You fellas go ahead. Bud! Buddy, give me a hand, Teller. We'd better finish him. We ever want to face Killer Can again. Kane Squadron. All ships stand by to dive. Objective, enemy squadron, 4,000 below us. Attack in formation B. It's a hidden city squadron. They're right on us. Rogers, look. Looks like Wilma squadron. Let's work back toward our ship. Give her full throttle. Let's get out of here. Lieutenant Deering, command your ship and look for Rogers. All of the ships follow me in pursuit. One of your ships has just landed. Wilma, probably. Hope so. It's Wilma, all right. Here she comes. Golly, I'm glad you're here. Let's get back to the ship, quick. Right, Buck. Badly hurt, Buck. I hope not. We'll have to get him to a hospital. Colonel Rogers, you'll take Lieutenant Deering's ship. I'll repair yours and follow. Thank you very much, Captain. Help me, Callan. Be right back, buddy. Ready for the starting rifles? Right, Buck. How far are we from Hidden City? Only a few minutes' flight. You better call Dr. Hugh and tell him about Prince Talon and Buddy. I'm going on back, see if he's all right. All right. Lieutenant Deering calling Dr. Hugh of the Hidden City. Lieutenant Deering calling Dr. Hugh of the Hidden City. Dr. Hugh answering. Go ahead, Lieutenant Deering. I'm approaching the city. We have Prince Talon, an envoy from the planet Saturn, with us. Envoy from Saturn? I shall be at the air dome to welcome him in person. Fine. Will you also have a hospital attendant on hand, please? Buddy Wade is badly injured. Buddy Wade? I shall attend to all arrangements. Anything else? No, that is all. Lieutenant 
Lieutenant Deering calling the air control at Hidden City. Lieutenant Deering calling the air control at Hidden City. Control officer answering Lieutenant Deering. I'm approaching the city. Watch the indicator and make ready for landing, please. Detail advised. Come in, Lieutenant. <laughs> See, Talon, what we've been forced to do to escape Kane and his outlaw army? With the help of my planet Saturn, you will soon see the end of Killer Kane. Thank you. The landing box. That was a nice landing, Wilma. Careful with him, men. Wilma, you look after Buddy while I report to Dr. Hewer. Yes, I will, Buck. Colonel Rogers, how's Buddy? He's been taken care of, sir. Dr. Hewer, this is Prince Talon, envoy from the planet Saturn. Dr. Hewer is our scientist general. And Air Marshal Craig, our operations chief. Prince Talon? Prince Talon, you bring new hope to a beleaguered race. If it had not been for Colonel Rogers, I think your enemy would have tricked me into fighting you instead of helping you. I am authorized to sign this treaty, pledging our support to your cause. It would be more honest to let you see our people and decide whether we are worthy of your help. Buddy. I'm so glad you're better. For a while, I was a little worried about you. Oh, shucks, I'm all right. Well, how about Buck and Prince Talent? Did Kane's men get them? No, they're perfectly safe, but you mustn't excite yourself. I think you'd better go now, Lieutenant. He's still a pretty sick soldier. All right, Doctor. Goodbye, buddy. Goodbye. Lieutenant Deering, it would be well to contact the planet Saturn. Yes, sir. Advise them that we have signed the treaty with Prince Talon, but they are at war with Killer Kane. Yes, sir. The Earth calling planet Saturn. The Earth calling planet Saturn. I assure the leader that the Hidden City Squadron was upon us before we could bomb Rogers and Talon again. So you allowed Rogers to escape with Talon to the Hidden City? We could not help ourselves. You see, we were silenced. If Talon pledges the aid of Saturn to Dr. Hewer, they will drive us from the face of the Earth. We brought it on ourselves. You should have taken my advice. Quit when we had enough. Since you are so clever, you shall take a spaceship to Saturn and arrange a treaty with her people before Talon has time to report back. I refuse. I will not be a tool for your insane ambitions. I am in command here, Krenko. Take him away. To the robot battalion where he can forget his grievances. You can't send me there, Kane. You can't. I'll head your commission to Saturn. I'll head your commission to Saturn. But don't send me to Robert's Kane. No! Anything to say, say it now, Quinko. When this helmet is in place, you'll never think nor speak again. You can tell Kane that I'll escape. I'll live to see the day that his... One more dead mine in the ranks of the leader's enemies. I trust no others share the feelings of the late Councillor Krenko. Being a kindly ruler, I shall give you a chance to redeem yourself. Thank you, sir. 
fly a spaceship to Saturn and arrange the treaty that Krenko refused to try. If you succeed, there is an empty chair at my council table. The Earth calling the planet Saturn. I'm afraid it's useless, Doctor. Apparently, our receiving sets are not in tune with your projectors. In that event, you'll have to return to Saturn by spaceship. I doubt whether such a trip is possible. Air controls. Book reports from our outer atmosphere observatory. Report just received, sir. Killer Kane has doubled all air patrols in that stratum. The spaceship wouldn't have a chance. I am not quite so sure about that, Craig. Not sure? You know what's happened to all our ships that tried to break through. Yes, but I've been working on a little experiment that may help us. What kind of an experiment? Well, I didn't mean to show it until I had perfected it, but uh, even as it is, it may serve our purpose. Just step over to this window. Now watch the ship nearest you. Stand well back. I don't want to experiment on you. Do you know anything about this? I knew he was working on something, but he wouldn't say what it was. Now keep an eye on that ship. I don't say anything strange about it. What's it supposed to do, Doctor? Blow up or something? Why, it's disappearing in the thin air. Oh, don't get in the ray. It might do the same thing to you. It wouldn't harm you very much, but it may take some time to bring you back to visibility. But I don't see how that'll help, sir. If you've destroyed the ship... Oh, but I haven't. The ship is still there, but you can't see it. I have discovered a ray which reduces all opaque matter to transparency, perfect as the ether itself. Unfortunately, I can hold it only for a matter of a few minutes, ten at most. And the ray won't harm anybody inside the ship? Not at all. Well, then the problem's solved. We fly through Kane's blockade in an invisible ship. And the sooner we start, the better. Yes. They'll need a navigator set. Oh, yes, so they will. You will report to the air control room and make ready for immediate flight. Yes, sir. Well, if I have to take you with me, we'd better get to the control room. Doctor? Have the rockets loaded into a spaceship for immediate takeoff. Yes, sir. Rocket laboratory. This is the air control office. Have spaceship LZ-9 loaded immediately for takeoff. These are retarding rockets. Make sure you put them in the lower racks with the firing end forward. You'll be pretty much on your own when you reach Saturn. through Kane's blockade. All depends on Dr. Hewitt, Tom. I'll radio him as soon as we spot any of the Kane ships. Buck, there they are, right above us. Dr. Hewitt? Dr. Hewitt? Buck Rogers calling. This is Dr. Hewitt. Go ahead, Buck. We spotted the Kane ship, sir. They're directly above us. Let us buck. A hidden city ship rising, sir. Trying to run our blockade. Head straight for it. Man the ray guns. 
Hold your fire and I'll give the order. It's working perfectly, Doctor. Look, it's disappearing into thin air. It's vanished. Attention all patrol ships. The hidden city spaceship has just run our blockade. Spread out, circle and try to locate it. All right, Talon? Yes. You, Wilma? Fine, Doc. Stand by your rocket controls. Here we are back to normal again. <laughs> Was that a relief? Strange sensation being up here in a ship we couldn't see. Yeah, the main thing is we got through Killer Kane's blockade. Now the only thing left between us and Saturn is <laughs> space. Well, we made it. We're over Saturn again. Buck, look, a Killer Kane ship. It's just what I was expecting. They beat us here. Don't worry. I'll straighten all that out when I talk to the Saturnian consul. There doesn't seem to be anybody around that spaceship. If we could cripple it, we'd be sure that Killer Kane's men couldn't make a getaway. It's risky, Colonel Rogers. But let's try it. Looks like they've spotted our ship. I hope they have. We may try to disable it. That's just what I want them to do. Keep your eyes on these robots. I don't want Rogers to find them. There's not a soul in sight. You two keep me covered. I want to drop those rockets. We've got them right where we want them. They're locked, Colonel Rogers. I tell you what you do. Run over to our ship and get a wrench. We're trapped. The door is locked. It's locked, all right. I should have suspected something like this. Hit the floor, quick, it's poison gas. Keep your mouth and nose covered. I can't. That ought to take care of them. <laughs> 